Hey everyone, my name is Dylan, CEO of Welcome Screen. Today I'm going to be running you through all the features and capabilities of Welcome Screen and how to use it to its maximum potential. Our main priority is making sure that your guests have the best experience possible while also earning you some extra revenue. As you can see, I have the screen on behind me. It's a little blurry because of the focus issues, but if I get out the way, it looks really good. And it's an absolute showstopper in homes. Alrighty, everyone. Um, so this is it. This is the online web portal. If you were to sign up, this is what you would see. Uh, these are the two Airbnbs I personally manage along with one I have for testing. Um, as you can see, you can integrate your property management system. I have Hostway connected. Uh, you can preview your screens right from the dashboard. So this is the one I actually have on right behind me. Um, as you can see, it has a moving carousel. You have your, um, your opening message, the name, check in, check out, key information, these scannable QR codes, which are really cool. You can put anything from a guidebook to um, your direct booking website. That's what I have here. Um, and a host of other things, whatever you want to, uh, whatever you want to put there, right? You can even be a restaurant, something like that. Um, and we have recommendations and upcoming events here too. <clears throat> so let's jump right into the actual property itself and how you edit it. So as you can see, I'm now in the editing portal, which is where you can configure and edit your screen to your preferences and likings. Um, so I only have three carousel images here, but you can put in up to six. It's super easy. You can just attach a file from your computer. Um, you can change the background image. We Again, you can upload your own or we have some preset ones that you can use. You can even add background audio, which was one of the high, most highly requested features from our um, current customers. So of course we put it in for them. We have these five specific tracks, but if you have a track you really want to um, put in your portal, then you can just email us. As long as it's royalty free, then we can manually put it in your account. Uh, this is where you put the QR codes. As you can see, I had this from a previous demo, but so essentially all you have to do is just go guidebook and then type in the URL for whatever your guidebook is. I can just do google.com right now. Change is saved. It will be showing up on your screen. Pretty awesome. Phone number, email, um, hours of operation is just what kind of times your guests can expect to contact you at. Uh, this is where you change your recommendations and upcoming events, Wi-Fi. Your guest list, this is imported from your PMS um, layout, which is pretty cool. So if you don't want the complicated layout, which is the one I'm currently running, you can have more of a focus on the carousel. And so you can switch to the simpler layout if that works better for you. Um, and then you have your property details. You don't have to put your exact address in. This is just how we get your um, weather information from, like we need to know the location of where your place is. Um, and then you can name it however you want, right? Um, so pretty self-explanatory. There's, you can get really creative with this. You know, I have my screen set up in a certain way, but one of my favorite parts about this business is that um, how creative people get, right? And you, you, you can put advertisements in the carousel. You'd be surprised on how much restaurants are willing to pay for this center spot. Um, you can also charge restaurants to be the QR code and scan or the recommendations, right? You are a great point of advertising for these um, local businesses because they want to attract the tourists that are coming to stay at your place. Um, and even if you don't want to use it for that, even if it's just purely for the guest experience, right? You're still going to get more five-star reviews. It still wows them the moment they walk in the room. There's a reason most luxury hotels have it. And that's because they've done millions of dollars of research into first impressions and making their stay as amazing as possible, right? And most of all, will have some kind of welcome screen. Now it hasn't been affordable or accessible to the general public up until now, um, which I'm super excited about. Welcome screen is really affordable. It starts at $10 a month and goes down from there. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend you check it out. If you don't like it or something breaks, we do have a money back guarantee, so there's nothing really to lose. Uh, I would you know, get in there, start designing, uh, and start wowing your guests today. And then one final part that I'm sure you're all super interested in is how do you link your screen? So essentially, it is simply a TV app that you download and then you connect with a pin. As you can see, I already have the Welcome Screen app pre-downloaded on my Roku. I will simply click on it. It's now prompted me for a six-digit pin. And to get that six-digit pin, it's as easy as clicking the plus. And I now get my six-digit pin. So I will type this into the TV. So it is two, three, six, 
three, seven, three. It's now connecting and it's loaded. As quickly as that, the background image is loading. Um, as quickly as that, it is ready to go. Uh, your guests are gonna love it. Uh, my guests, I know seeing their name on the screen as soon as they walk in, it's a pretty big hit. So I'm sure we'll be with your guests too. And I'm so excited to hear the success stories of people using this product.